Let us now consider the microscopic features of spleen. I am grateful to Professor Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections used in this video. Spleen is located in the left hypochondriac region in the abdomen with dual functions of secondary lymphatic organ and vascular filtration. Entire organ is covered by serosa or the mesothelium of peritoneum except at the hilum and along the sites of attachment of peritoneal ligaments. Beneath the peritoneal lining, spleen is covered by a thick capsule made up of type 1 collagen fibers and elastin fibers. Numerous trabeculae extend from the capsule. The largest trabeculae enter from the hilum and these carry the blood vessels and nerves. Within the spleen, there is a delicate network of type 3 collagen fibers or the reticular fibers. Here we are seeing the branches of splenic vessels in the trabeculae. Splenic parenchyma is described to have two regions, the red pulp and the white pulp based upon their appearance. In the freshly cut surface, White pulp appears as white opaque dots to the naked eye up to 1 mm in size, contrasting with the surrounding reddish purple colored red pulp. In the routine HND stained histology section, white pulp appears intensely basophilic in contrast to eosinophilic red pulp. Let us first consider the splenic microcirculation. Splenic artery enters at the hilum and divides to form multiple segmental arteries. These then give trabecular arteries as their branches, which travel with the trabeculae. They undergo multiple levels of branching till they form the central artery in the white pulp surrounded by lymphocytes. These central arteries then divide into 15 to 20 pencilar arterioles in the marginal zone and the blood in this pencilar arterioles will enter the open circulation of the red pulp. Blood from this open circulation in the red pulp is then collected by the venous sinusoids which join to form smaller venules which then join to form veins of increasingly larger size. Finally, they drain into trabecular vein and into splenic vein. White pulp is made up of the central artery whose tunica adventitia is replaced by the periarterial lymphatic sheath which is predominantly made up of T lymphocytes. When the B lymphocytes in the white pulp proliferate to form either a primary or a secondary follicle, the central artery acquires an eccentric position. Here we are seeing the lymphatic follicle with a germinal center with an eccentrically positioned central artery. These enlarged lymphatic follicles or nodules are called as splenic nodules or Malpighian corpuscles, not to be confused with the Malpighian corpuscles of renal cortex. Dead pulp constitutes about 90% of splenic parenchyma. It clears the particulate matter of the blood as well as the old blood cells from the blood. It's made up of venous sinusoids lined by elongated stave cells which have large intercellular slits and they are surrounded by discontinuous basement membrane. This intercellular slits and the discontinuous basement membrane allows for the return of the blood cells from the open circulation. In addition, the red pulp also contains splenic cords or cords of Billroth made of reticular network, reticular fibroblasts, macrophages, lymphocytes and dendritic cells as well as the blood in the open circulation in the reticular spaces. This close association of blood in the open circulation with the macrophages as well as the dendritic cells allows the vascular filtration as well as destruction of old blood cells. Here we are seeing the venous sinusoids and cords of Billroth in the red pulp.
Between the white pulp and the red pulp, there is a perifollicular zone or the marginal zone. This has pencillar arterioles surrounded by periarteriolar sheath of macrophages. Lymphocytes are loosely arranged here in the reticular network and blood enters the open circulation of red pulp from these pencillar arterioles. So quickly recalling what we have seen so far, spleen is covered by peritoneum and a thick capsule that sends in trabeculae. Splenic parenchyma has red pulp and white pulp. The white pulp shows basophilic sheath of lymphocytes around the central artery with or without the formation of primary or secondary follicles. Red pulp is made up of splenic cords of Bildroth between the venous sinusoids. The perifollicular marginal zone shows loosely arranged lymphocytes and pencillar arterioles. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit this site for similar histology videos.